Hey guys, welcome to another video with bradegger.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use Excel tables to create a dynamic data validation in conjunction with a name range. So this is essentially the end result here. If we have a data validation drop-down list that is associated to a dynamic table or just an Excel table, I should say, if we were to go over to the calculations tab and type in a tab there, it's going to bring us to a new field and I'm going to type in, um, let's say George's consultant, consulting, I should say. And then we head back over to the dashboard page. If we select the drop down now, we should see that yes, George's consulting has now been added to our list. So we want to be able to make a dynamic data range and we want to do it in the easiest way possible and really the easiest way possible to make a dynamic data validation list is to use Excel tables with the name manager or a name range. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over to our name manager, <coughs> excuse me, and actually what I'll show you first is that we have an Excel table here that is called, if we go up to table tools, Here's our, if we go to the design tab and then we go over to the table name, we'll see that it's consultant's name uh, is the name of this table. So we're going to use that consultant's name as uh, the reference to our name range that we create because data validation drop down lists, unfortunately, do not allow you to use a reference to a table within it. It must reference a name range. So now if we go over to the formulas tab in the quick access ribbon, we go to name manager and we're going to create a new name range called consultant name. Now the reference is where it's going to be important. We're going to actually reference our table name. So we can quickly do this and an easy way of doing it is going over to that little button on the right hand side, heading over to the calculations tab in our case where our table is located. We're going to select uh, E, column E, uh, and then cell number two. And then we're going to just select control shift down. And you'll see that it's automatically referred to our table. Now, what we can do here is I'm going to take out this all because I don't want the entire table. Uh, in this case, of course, the entire table is made up of consultant's name, but you wouldn't want this if you were only trying to refer to one specific column in a multi-field or multi-column table. You see consultant's name and consultant's name is the name of the field that we want to refer to and have uh, create that dynamic name range for. I'm just going to click that again and we're simply going to hit OK. So now that we've created the dynamic name range called consultant name, we're going to head back over to column uh, actually to cell D2 and we can actually implement the data validation. So we're going to head over to the data tab and the quick access ribbon. You're going to select data validation and then we're going to go to data validation again here. Once we've done that, we're going to go to a list and we're going to type in equals consultant name, which is the dynamic name range that we set up in conjunction with our consultant's name table. So now we're going to hit OK. And what we can do is quickly add some formatting by just making this yellow, doing the same thing as I did over to the left in my example. And now we can see that we've got all of the names associated to that table field name or column. So now that we have that set up, we can go over to our calculation tab and we can add one more just to see that this is actually working and that it is in fact dynamic and associated to this table. And if I hit tab and we put in now Brad's consulting, perfect. We're going to head over to our dashboard and then we're going to scroll all the way down to the end of our data validation list. And you'll see now that Brad's consultant is added to our data validation list. So that is how you make a data validation list dynamic using Excel tables. It's definitely the easiest way. I appreciate you guys checking this video and we will see you next time. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Thanks again. Bye.